Uh, I'm a co-portfolio manager on the Industrial Share Fund. Been running the fund for four years now, four and a half years. Um, and prior to that, I was an analyst at Petrol covering multiple sectors. I'm also a co-manager of the Industrial Share Fund. I've been running my part for almost a year. I also run a, an equity income fund and been with the company Perpetual for almost 20 years. One can trust that the people running this fund have learnt from the previous, who have learnt from the previous PMs, and we all do the same thing. Stick to our guns, stick to what we know is quality company at a fair and reasonable, if not cheap price. I think the number one thing that stands out more than anything else is actually the avoiding of the losers, or should I speak, say the crash and burn stocks. The his history is littered with them, and I could think of many examples, but just some classic examples of Babcock and Brown, Centro, uh, oh, ABC Learning. You know, these are companies whose balance sheets were very risky, whose valuations got to levels we couldn't understand, very loved by the, the market. And we stood out from the market and said, no, this isn't right, and we've avoided them. You avoid stocks like that, you've got a, you've got a really good chance of doing pretty well with the fund. A recent stock, so the last six months, uh, that we've entered back into is Woolworths. We've been out of Woolworths for about so for several years now. And what's triggered that is there's, Woolworths have been under a bit of pressure. We didn't like the corporate strategy, uh, which led to they were basically high grading their margin, so pulling profit forward. Uh, but we've seen a change in the board, which we, that pleased us, new chairman, etc. There's new management in, and if you look at the strategy they're basically getting through today is it's all about execution and it's more inwardly focused. So they've got a, it's a high quality business, Woolworths, biggest retailer in Australia. They've got great assets. It's a matter of executing on their strategy, which is to focus inward, reinvest back in price and grow the top line. Yeah, another stock we're presently in is uh, Treasury Wine. Uh, it's the, originally it was the wine business of Foster's Group. It's actually had a few owners and a few managers uh, over the history. It, for as long as I've known, that it's been run exceptionally poorly, uh, including it's famous for just a year ago or two years ago having to literally throw so many millions of cases down the drain because of too much stock. This company is now run by a CEO that we are absolutely just, uh, we couldn't be happier with what he's doing. And the turnaround story with the, both the American business and their selling to the overseas, especially the Chinese market, has just been extraordinary. Mm -hmm.